Um, the question of how pastors navigate a highly polarized world between political left and political right, conservative, liberal, Tea Party, whatever. I mean, we're in this context of decreasing civility, increasing anxiety, increasing hostility, suspicion, uh, all the rest. Um, I, I think every preacher has difficult decisions to make, and each congregation is a little bit different. This is a different struggle in Alabama than it is in Massachusetts or, or uh, uh, Seattle, Washington. It, and, and so I, I don't think I can give advice that would be one size fits all. But I, I could say every pastor has to think seriously about this. Let me propose an analogy. Let's say you're a white pastor, and it's 1963, 1964 and you're serving a white church full of people who are typical uh, white people, and let's put it in the deep south. Let's say it's Alabama, Mississippi, places where the civil rights movement was very heated. Now, imagine what you could do on the issue of race. You could just say, wow, this is a controversial subject. This is political. I don't get into politics. So just talk about don't lie, don't cheat, don't commit adultery, love Jesus, love God, pray, read the Bible, witness, you know, do all those things and never address the subject of race. Now, looking back, if, if that's how you lived your life, how would you feel about going through the 60s, taking the easy, safe way out and never addressing the critical issue of race? Another thing you could do is you could go preach a rip-roaring sermon against white privilege and racism and call the congregation racist, which is true. They probably are. Call them racist. Give it to them. And you could get fired and then go up to Massachusetts and talk about how you were mistreated by those heathens in the South. You know, you, you probably made things worse. You probably set things back. But you could be a great hero. How would you feel about that? Well, in between those two extremes, there's a lot of space. And there's the space to say, if we could go back imaginatively, how would I want to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to bear on the issue of race in the 1960s? And then maybe and you, if you want to take a safe way, I won't be political. That's one kind of abdication. If you want to take a somewhat polarizing way, you know, but in between there's difficult, painful, in some ways crucifying paths to take. And I think that's the, the kind of path we have to try to take uh, in this contentious decade dealing with the contentious issues of our day. How are we, race is still a big issue in our day. How do we deal with uh, the issue of immigration? How do we deal with the issue of poverty, this huge gap between rich and poor? How do we deal with uh, the issue of the environment? How do we deal with the relation between Christians, Muslims, Jews, people of other faiths? How do we deal with the left-right polarization? Does the Christian faith throw all of its energies on one side, or does the Christian faith seek to be, in some way, a reconciling agent, calling both sides to higher ground and common ground? I think every preacher would do well to really count the cost and uh, develop a plan and keep adjusting and working that plan. Uh, otherwise, 30 years from now, 20 years from now, the world could be a lot worse place, our nation could be a lot worse place, and we would have played a role in just letting it go that way.